how to connect your iPad or iPhone to a TV using AirPlay. I'm Justin Spiegel and in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Now there's multiple reasons and scenarios why you might wanna do that and I'll get into that after, but first I wanna show you really quick on how to do it. So on your TV, just go to your settings and then click on settings. I'm using a Samsung TV, but any TV that's new enough and that has AirPlay built in, you'll be able to do this. So we go over here to settings. Now we're gonna go down to general and all you have to do is go over to Apple AirPlay settings. And now it says AirPlay is on, require code first time only. That means the, the first time you use a new device, it's gonna have a code on the screen. You type it into your phone or your iPad and then you could use AirPlay. All right, so one thing that I found while trying to make this video is it will not let you do AirPlay while you are doing a screen recording. So I'm gonna, just gonna go over here and show you how to do it and then I'm gonna end the screen recording. Just keep that in mind if you're, if you're like me and you use this for DJing and you wanna record your D, screen record what you're doing on your iPad, you're not gonna be able to do it while you are using AirPlay. Also, if you're like a gamer and you play mobile games and you're making videos like that, you're not gonna be able to record the screen. It took me a little bit to figure this out while I was making the video. So we're gonna go over here to screen mirroring and now we're gonna click on it. But since I'm, since I'm screen recording, it's not gonna let me. So let me just end this screen recording. Screen recording's ended. And then I'm just gonna go and screen mirror, screen mirror. And there you go. So if I was going to DJ, I could use this as a bigger screen for me when I'm DJing, if I want people to see what I'm doing while I'm DJing. Also, if you wanna watch Netflix or Hulu, very easily you could watch Netflix or Hulu. And then there you go. Hulu, Netflix will work good, but with this method, there is a slight delay. So if you're looking to play video games, like my favorite game to play on my iPad is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I play it with the controller. But with this method, with the slight delay, you really can't play this type of game because there's too much stuff going on and the delay will really mess you up while you're trying to play the game. So just keep that in mind. And if you, if you wanna do something more precise and you wanna be able to maybe play a game or you wanna be able to have more control, then I would recommend using my other method. I'll leave a link to that which is how to connect your iPad to the TV using using an HDMI cable. And now this is a hardwired method and you will be able to do everything that you need to do. It'll just, you'll have the same quality as if you were just playing on the iPad, but it will be a bigger screen. Also, in order to do the AirPlay method, we are going to have to have Wi-Fi. So we're gonna have to have both devices on the same Wi-Fi network. This threw me off when I was first trying to set this up, when I was first trying to set this up on my on my TV because at my house I have two different Wi-Fi's. I have like a 5G and then a 4G one. And then for some reason my iPad was on the 4G, the TV was on the other one, and I kept trying all these different ways and I just simply couldn't get it on because it wasn't the same Wi-Fi. Another thing is if you are traveling. So if you're traveling and you're staying at a hotel, the hotel's Wi-Fi is different than a home Wi-Fi because the password changes so much and you will not be able to get both devices onto the same Wi-Fi. So if you wanna use your iPad on the TV if you are at a hotel or something like that, maybe a cruise, then you are gonna to wanna to do the hardwired method where you just plug in the HDMI into an HDMI USB-C adapter, plug that into your iPad, make sure you could charge your iPad and then you will be able to do anything you wanna do on your iPad onto the TV. So I hope this helped you guys learn how to connect your iPad into the TV using HDMI. There are a lot of good things you could do with this, like if you were a teacher or if you just wanted to display something, maybe notes or something like that, that or just play a YouTube video quickly, then you could use it for that. Hulu, Netflix, watching movies works really well. But again, with the games, anything that's going to, that you need instant feedback, 
because there is going to be a slight delay, a slight slight delay just like if you were playing something through Bluetooth uh, compared to playing something with an actual cable plugged in. If, if you're just listening to music and you're not DJing or if you're just watching a show and you're not playing a game, then you really won't notice the difference. But again, um, my recommendation, if you want to get the best quality and if you want everything to be the exact same as it was on the iPad, then I would definitely go with the hardwired method. It's easy. All you need is one inexpensive adapter and a, and you're just going to need an HDMI cable. And I would recommend getting a longer HDMI cable because it, you, then you could use the iPad like of a remote. You could sit on the couch and have it connected to the TV as long as your HDMI is long enough. But again, AirPlay is simpler. There's no wires. You don't have to plug anything in and it's already built in to both devices. So it's really it's really up to you and it's really up to what you plan on doing with it. I use it for DJing and I found that what I want to do with the DJing doesn't really work very well and it won't even airplay that um every other thing is working on the screen, Netflix, Hulu, games and all that, but when I use the DJ Pro app, which is the app that I use to DJ, I get it it's just simply not working. And so when I'm going to be using this, it when I do my DJ sets, I am going to be bringing the HDMI cable and I'm going to be doing it the hardwired method so that I can show my visuals, show the music videos, and, and if I want to mirror the screen, there's an option to mirror the screen as well. But with the AirPlay, it just does not seem to work. Everything else works perfectly fine on the iPad, except for the DJ app that I use. So if you guys are interested in learning new stuff that you could do with the iPad, that you could do with the iPhone, and if you wanna get into DJing, my channel is about DJing with the iPad. You don't need any prior knowledge of DJing. You don't need uh, any special equipment. All you need is your iPad which or your phone, which you have since you're watching this video, and then you guys could learn from knowing, knowing absolutely nothing, or maybe you know a little bit about DJing, but you have not tried DJing on the iPad, then it'll be a simple transition for you. So subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. And also let me know in the comments if you guys are having any frustration or if you're having any difficulty with getting your phone connected to the TV, because there are a couple of things that could happen that can make it really stressful. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.